If you've been following this channel for a while, you know the word nerds tend to find new things we're a little bit in love with and then get all kinds of obsessed. Sometimes it's books like The Raven Cycle or anything by B.E. Schwab, and sometimes it's tools. Recently one of our big obsessions has been a website called For the Words, and I have fallen so in love with them to the point where I've actually joined their team. Happy Monday and happy October! There is one month left to go before Nano, so we have all sorts of activities and chats and videos for you guys about getting ready for the biggest writing month of the year, and today I wanted to talk a little bit more about one of the things I have been using to get my own writing back on track and to help gear up for NaNoWriMo. That is, of course, For the Words, the website that helps you turn your writing into a bit more of a game, make it an adventure where you can dive in with your friends and take on monsters and quests. Megan already did a video Video introducing the website and kind of letting you know how you could get involved yourself so I will leave a link to that in the description down below but today there are two days left before For the Words launches a brand new website so I wanted to share with all of you some of my favorite things about the website because I am so in love with it still I've actually started working as part of their social media team so if you aren't following them on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram I absolutely recommend doing that because we have so many things planned for Preptober and going into November and all of those writing shenanigans. It's going to be a lot of fun, so now let's actually talk about the website. And if you're already a For the Words user, absolutely stick around because I am lucky enough to get to showcase a few of the previews about what's to come with the big update. So if you've been using it for a while, things may start looking a little different later this week. There's a big launch coming on October 3rd, but if you stick around, you'll get a bit of a preview about what to expect. For today's video, I wanted to share three of my favorite things about For the Words beyond all of their undeniable inspiration power, and first up is of course the world that it all takes place in. You can see here in Ogamai Valley, I am probably pronouncing that wrong, but I hope not, there are some really dynamic different sections that you can explore and fight monsters in on all of your writing journeys. Each region inside this world has its own distinct art look and quests and monsters to fight so that you always feel like you're progressing, things aren't getting stale, each adventure is new and exciting, while you are also getting words written. Even with all its stats and battles, it is the game world that really makes me feel like I am participating in something epic that is pulled right out of any of the games I played as a kid, fighting monsters, going on quests, and just exploring this really, really beautifully put together world. And you'll be happy to hear that Ogamai Valley is just as gorgeous and wonderful in the new version of the site, plus there's a bunch of new things to explore, taking each region even further, with more people to talk to, more quests to do, and just looking amazing. Next up is of course the community. There is an active forum full of writerly-minded people who love to cheer one another on and discuss writing challenges. It's a lot like what you can find on the NaNoWriMo forums, but all year round. And you can jump over to the leaderboards and see how the community's doing on things like words written and streaks and battles and see where you fall in. And even when you aren't actively logged into the site, there's still a lot going on on the For the Words social media, like prompts and sprints and looks of the weeks on Twitter and Instagram, so hopefully you will follow them over there as well. And finally, there is all of the project management options, and you guys know me, I love a good project, I love being able to keep track of all of the things I'm working on and how they're going. I also love being able to add these adorable images and colors to them. My own projects need a little bit of reorganization, but that's something I'm planning on working on on the new site because they have one of my new favorite features, and that is being able to set goals for all of your projects, so you can type in how many words you want any given project to be, when you want to have it done by, and then For the Words will tell you how many days you have left and how many words you need to write before then, which is all kinds of awesome. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are already a For the Words user or are planning on signing up, absolutely leave your username in the comments down below so that I can friend you and we can cheer each other on in November and all of the other writing adventures to come. And of course, don't forget to join us on Sunday for our next live chat. This one's going to be a write-in as we all get ready for NaNoWriMo and try to finish up some current projects. In the meantime, happy reading, happy writing, and I'll see you next time.